Jesse's here to talk about XCOM 2. A little bit disappointed with the game, and I just want to talk about general thoughts about the game. This game is so much less like a turn-based combat simulator than you would expect. In fact, it's very, very much not like that at all. There's a game that comes to mind when I compare these games, this game to other games is uh, Heroes 3 of Might and Magic, where you have a base, you try to expand, kind of. You have an army that you try to upgrade and gain and improve. Um, you don't have a hero, per se, but you have your little units. And then combat itself, you go in, you move your guys around the little 2D surface uh, and try to attack enemies. Now, the gameplay itself is a lot deeper than Heroes 3 of Mind and Magic. You know, you have more options than just kind of attack. The big thing about this game that just irritates the shit out of me is a combination of animations, uh, clunky menuing, an incredibly annoying, irritating number of like pop-ups with all these weird binary. It feels like the game is just an infinite pop-up simulator and what i'm realizing is that this game is not meant for me i'm not the type of gamer that this game was made for at all um this game is more like a like if we go to a mission really quick we'll just because i don't i'll show you what it looks like when you're actually in combat the combat itself is a little bit intriguing to me just a teeny tiny bit but it has the exact same flaws and irritations that XCOM 1 had, where the animations just take so long and it's so annoying to actually beat a mission. And you feel like you have to take it slow. You have to be super patient and careful and have your dude, you know, his camera zoom in. Then your guy runs three squares and then freezes and then gets into place and then the camera zooms out. And then you do that literally just over and over and over and over. The gameplay loop itself, when you're in combat, I mean, it's it sucks. <laughs> uh, the little compelling parts of it, like shooting a grenade launcher and actually using a skill shot, that's like the only reason that I enjoy the game at all. Um, but the actual like move into position, wait, move into position, wait, move into a civilian, extract, like... The button clicking and then the animations that follow turn over turn feel so clunky and irritating as shit. Um, and it was the exact same with XCOM 1, so I don't know why I was so compelled by this free-to-play option from Epic Game Store. I'm glad that I have it, and I do think I might, I might keep playing it. I might, you know, get stronger and keep upgrading my little thing, but I don't know. I'm a little... I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been playing it for not that long, like a little bit yesterday, a little bit today, and I'm already kind of burned out. I'm like, okay, like, but here's an example of like, you know, you can zoom all the way out and I'm like, okay, I have to get all the way over here, right? All right, so let's just start moving guys, one at a time. Okay, move another guy. One at a time. Eventually, it'll show me where the aliens are. Okay, move another guy. No need to ask twice. Oh, no, we're not done yet. We have one more. Okay. Location confirmed. That was a nice zoom in. You like that animation? Oh. Okay, what is this? What's happening? I don't entirely know. It doesn't seem to affect the gameplay at all. It's just a random zoom in. Okay, now what? I mean, I, I, I guess there's some decision making here. I want to know the best place to go. Where should I go? I don't know. I'm on the move. But the point is that the game feels so slow. It feels so slow. And wait till you get to the combat animations where you shoot and then the damage happens. And then your guy moves back into like the normal animation. And then, you know, I mean, it's like the... It feels clunky. It feels. It doesn't feel smooth at all. And as someone who's coming from an action RPG perspective, 
I'm like, I want to do more. I don't want to stop and stop and stop. But the real reason that this game frustrated me was that I recently did an easy mission. And I lost the easy mission. I ended up extracting like the, the people that I had left because I didn't think I would be able to finish it. Um, which I understand that this game, it's like Darkest Dungeons 1, where loss is a real part of the game. You're supposed to lose your troops. Like you have an opportunity to fail and you can make backwards progress and you can, you know, do poorly um, and lose units. But the time it took to go to get to the point in the mission where I was like, all right, I should probably back out was it took so long. And the only reason that I quote unquote failed an easy mission is because I was so impatient. I was like, okay, get to the fucking point. Like get, I needed to go get something. And I was basically just running my troops all the way in. I was like, I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> like, this is not exciting enough. Sp how do I speed this up? Uh, and then this game rewards patience. You basically have to move extremely slowly for optimal play. Um, and I don't, I don't have the attention span for a game like this. I just don't. If we go back to where we were... So the other thing that irritates me about this game, it's kind of a, I was thinking Civilization, but there are other games that are like this, where you basically have all of these steps that you have to accomplish. You have like a whole set of objectives outside of just combat. Um, and while that can be rewarding, it feels like there's like, partially it's a knowledge gate, partially it's just a shit ton of really stupid menuing. But I can see how that I can see how that would be a fun part of the game for a certain type of gamer. Someone would love that. It's like, ooh, I'm upgrading a psionic weapon. I can't wait to to go to the menu where I pay for it, pay for it, then go to the menu where I equip it to my soldier, then equip it, and then I go into combat and fight an enemy with it and can see how much damage it does. Like. I, I'm not here for it. <laughs> I'm like, I just don't have the patience for this shit. I just don't. Um, and it's not a bad game. Some of the menus irritate the shit out of me. Uh, and there's so many pop-ups that ask you, like, do you want, like, oh, you have an option to go to on this mission. Do you want to or not? I just started. I have not, I'm barely in this game. And there's already, like, all kinds of random shit. And I get that, like, they want you to have a lot of ownership over your decision making, like what to do next. But I'm like, can't I just fight the bad guys? I just want to fight bad guys. I just want to shoot aliens like, you know. So in other words, to summarize my thoughts, this game is not designed for me. Um, I'm more of an action RPG gamer. I like to kill enemies. I like to use skill shots. I like to see the screen light up with me winning and the bad guys losing. That is what motivates me. That's the gameplay loop that I desire. This does not provide that in the least. At the end of the day, I don't actually want to have to think this hard and I don't want to, I don't want to like wait. So I'm an impatient gamer. Um, I think that's the reality of the situation. So that's it. That's my rant on XCOM 2. Hope y'all like it. Later.